Well, I'm on Facts of Mars. And here's a story about uh, independent broadcasters under threat even being killed by their uh, government or whoever in Russia. I'm going to make a point about this in a minute. Tatania Felkenhauer, the 32 deputy, 13 year old deputy chief editor of Mo Echo of Moscow Independent Radio Station, was stabbed in her throat and seriously wounded on Monday night in the reception of Echo's newsroom. Radio station security captured the attacker and handed him over to the police. The assailant was a middle-aged man dressed in white clothes. Fortunately, an ambulance arrived with him within minutes. Kilgan Hauer was rushed to surgery, which appears to have saved her life. Oddly, that sounds like a German name, by the way. I'm wondering about that. Falkenhauer is known for its hipster look, strong voice, and brilliant skills as a narrator. Several days a week, Russia wakes up to her voice on the radio, but this attacker clearly intended to silence her. Falkenhauer's blood was splattered across the newsroom floor. Tiny is the face and voice of Echo of Moscow. Each of us feels stabbed this morning. Echo's international observer, Tonius. Samson Nova told the Daily Beast. Tanya is a key reporter covering anti Putin protests. It was a state that previously inspired the hateful, aggressive public attitude against our journalists. In fact, earlier this month, Kremlin controlled television station Russia 24 accused Falcon Hauer of working for the U.S. State Department of show called. Echo Gazdaf, Russian abbreviation for the U.S. State Department. One prominent journalist, Sergei, I'm not going to try it, wondered aloud if she will promote the stabbing. So that's Russia the 24th, and they're happy to see that back. They're too hard investigation costs. Now, I have, here's my point on this. Now, the American left isn't doing as much with journalists in this country. I, I understand that. But they are doing something. They're uh, trying to, they're doing everything they can under law to silence us. YouTube with its demonetization is, you know, trying to silence conservatives. They're going after virtually everything I do. All I'm seeing is yellow, yellow, yellow. Very few greens. They're trying to silence us. And Google, you know, skews the search results. And if Democrats are always trying to breathe down our neckline to silence us, the uh, equal time thing. What are they called? Um, I forget. Anyway, so why is it the American left is sitting here objecting to the silencing of independent voices in Russia? Well, they support the silencing of independent voices here. Now, Grand, you know, this is this was violent incident, so they have a little more to. Uh, complain about, and I understand that. I can understand why they won't, you know, won't be angry about uh, somebody being stabbed in the throat, of course. But the point here is the left is actively trying to silence any independent voices out there. Well, there's, uh, I've heard there's been a big slaughter of videos, so uh, on the Las Vegas shooting, for instance, and there's big, there's, like I said, YouTube demonetization. I, my channel's been limited to views. 
I don't know why they're doing this to me and not allowing me any search results. So the point here is, the left loves this. Um, fairness doctrine, that's what I was thinking of. The left loves this type of thing. They want to silence conservatism, conservatism. They've, you know, basically shut Michael Savage out. And they haven't been able to stop Rush. Rush is more mainstream than you realize anyway. So the question is, why is the left doing this? They're supporting crushing the resistance here, but they don't, but they're going after Russia for their uh, censoring of independent voices. So in Russia, they support independent voices. Here, they don't. Why is it you libs? You care to explain this to me? Yulia, I'm not going to try it. Another famous journalist in Echo of Moscow had to leave the country at last month after a series of attacks. Last year, a man in a helmet poured feet. Oh boy. Feces all over her face and dress. This year, her elderly parents compared complain to officials about someone spreading noxious gas. So, you know, leftists aren't playing as rough in this country with journalists, except for Antifa, but, uh, they're doing the same thing, basically. They just use different means to Im obtain their objective of silencing conservative voices. Why is that, Libs? You, uh, Oppose the silencing of independent voices in Russia, and you support the silencing of independent voices in the United States of America. Any of you libs out there care to explain that? Lamar Facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.